Muggy today, but then we had those storms pop. That uh, heat and humidity, the daytime heating, the instability, all of that, the ingredients for what turned out to be kind of a bumpy early to mid afternoon. You can see the heaviest activity now is off to our east into the Altoona area where they're still looking at a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. Right now, we don't have any active warnings in, uh, well, they looks like they just issued, just you saw this pop up, as I said, that just up into portions of uh, Mercer County. And and just areas to the east, you see these pushing off. Right now, it looks like they have just issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Mercer County. That one cell that is pushing in through portions, we'll zoom in on it because uh, it's really affecting Lawrence County as well. And you see all of this lightning from Sharpsville and then Grove City up to the north. All of this activity as well, just clipping the northwestern corner of Lawrence County. And that will head just up across I-80 in the next half an hour as well. And down to the south, the one other area of concern, this area has been uh, pummeling 79 and 19 in Waynesburg with some heavy downpours over the past 20 minutes or so. Now this activity spreading up from Uniontown headed toward California pretty soon. A little bit of lightning there, but definitely some heavy downpours. Look at all these storm reports that we've seen. These are all the reports we've seen over the past six hours. You see these uh, kind of light blue dots on the uh, map here. Those are all reports of damage. Trees down, wires down, some folks losing power. Then up to the north, one concentrated area, Lawrence Mercer County, just up to the north. That's where we saw some reports of some large hail in some spots almost an inch in diameter. Temperatures right now in the 70s. We had highs in the lower 80s. The rain cooled some of us down. It's 73 in Pittsburgh. Still looking at some lower 70s at Catanning Latrobe, Wheeling, Washington, Beaver Falls, still in the upper 70s. You see the activity bubbling up all all across Pennsylvania with that afternoon heating area of low pressure down to the southwest that starts to move out of our area tonight and through tomorrow morning. So everything's starting to wane as we get towards sunset. We'll start to look at quieter weather and then tomorrow morning some sunshine to start off your Friday. But in the afternoon evening, we'll mention a chance of a spotty shower mainly north of Pittsburgh. Most of us will stay rain free. Saturday looks very nice as well. After a partly cloudy Friday night, we wake up to sunny skies Saturday, but a better chance that we could see a spot shower or a pop up storm in spots Saturday afternoon evening. And then Sunday, we start to see that heat build and we get back to drier weather. So scattered storms starting to diminish, but they'll still be around for the next hour or so. Partly sunny tomorrow, a slight chance of a shower 83. And the seven day forecast shows the heat starts to move in Saturday 86 with a chance of an afternoon shower or storm. Partly sunny, hot Sunday 89, could see some 90s down to the south. Still hot Monday, and then we sort of start to cool down a bit midweek. 